Um, did I score points? No. Go, strap yourselves in. Lock your S4s in attack position. We're going in, we're going in full throttle. It's Trek to Run. Yet another Star Wars podcast for your listening pleasure. And now, from the forest moon of Endor, it's Kenny, along with the man whose midi chlorians are off the chart. We got Brian. And now, straight from the swamps of Dagobah, to your host, Nick the Pope. What's up, everyone, and welcome to Trench Run, a place where three friends with varying degrees of Star Wars knowledge talk about the saga from a galaxy far, far away in a place a long time ago. As always, remember to check us out on Audio Booms, subscribe on your podcast feed of choice, whether it be iTunes, Audio Boom, or Stitcher. Also, remember to email us at trenchrunpod at gmail.com. Uh, we are one person down to this episode, so uh, with me is just Kenny. How are you doing, Kenny? Uh, first of all, I'm, I'm Will, uh, but you said you said Saga right this time, not Saga like last time. Damn it, so I messed up. I should have said Saga or Sega. You did say Saga, but... Sega. <laughs> no, I'm good. Uh, nice to be here, and we're, we're a week late. Yeah. And um, a man down, but we're going to push through. Uh, hopefully, Brian's having fun up there in, in area. The, uh, colder weather. In the, yeah, it's freaking June. It's not that much colder. But, yeah. Yeah, yeah Actually, so we're going to push through. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, we're a week late. It was an unfortunate reason, but, uh, you know, we're here to talk about Star Wars. Uh, there's not like a whole bunch of news, but, um, there is a couple stories. Um, I guess the biggest thing that came out of this last couple weeks, there's probably more stories. I just forgot the whole thing. We felt it important to not leave our fans hanging out there. We wanted to get together and talk. Um, and you know, even though there's not that much news, still get together and talk about it. Yeah. Uh, we got a nice smorgasbord of things to talk about. <laughs> I got, I got something cool for Kenny had to come up with, but, uh, um, the biggest thing is Star Wars Celebration Anaheim tickets went on sale. Um, I'm poor, so I'm definitely not going this time. Um, the biggest thing out of it was the VIP tickets went on sale as well as pretty much all the tickets went on sale, but VIP tickets sold out in three minutes. Which is crazy because they went for nine hundred dollars a piece. That's impressive. Is the venue bigger or smaller than the Chicago venue? No, Chicago is the largest is the largest convention space in the world. So they had less less, less tickets available. I'm sure they or, probably uh, sold more probably. tickets. Same amount. Of tickets. That's what I'm saying. But this year in Anaheim or for next year in Anaheim, they had less tickets because there's less space. Probably. So they probably went quicker. Well, not only that, but like the four day passes went on sale as well, and they went they were gone within an hour. Um, the VIP t- VIP tickets went on sale, and they were on eBay for upwards of thirteen thousand dollars for a ticket. Wow! Yeah, oh, like Jesus Christ, yeah, that's, that's a little insane right there. Yeah. I mean, so it, it just ended. You know, well, celebration ended a couple months ago. We had it. You went. It, I feel like there was more. There was a couple of years between celebrations, right? There used to be like three years, and now they're bouncing. Yeah. And now they're bouncing back within a year. Yeah, that's ridiculous. And it's ridiculous. Like, what are you gonna like? I feel that what is the big reveal that could be for next year? Because I mean, maybe for the next film after Episode Nine, there there'll be a information or something. But I don't know. Maybe they're they want to get uh, Harrison Ford back before he dies, or John mm-hmm. Williams. I mean, who, who the hell knows? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I feel like there would be other ways to do that, but. Yeah, it just seems like a quick turnaround, and, and, and unless they're planning on some big reveal or big cool thing happening, I, I just uh, they really had a lot to talk about this year, and I felt like they covered a lot, but maybe because uh, Ma- Mandalorian will be going on, Clone uh, episode Wars 9 had already been done, the Clone Wars, probably whatever TV shows that are coming out. Yeah, will have either been it, started or, or pretty close to being going. In celebrations from August 27th through the 30th. To be fair, I think Celebration made so much money for them, and the fact that Empire is going to be 40 years old next year could be a reason. I mean, I don't know. It's just Celebration is one of those things where it was incredibly expensive. It was probably not the best idea for me to go because it was just expensive, and you know. With but the I mean, it was still an experience. I get it. Like you know, you went, you had a cool experience. You were able to network our. Pro- oh wait, no, you didn't do that. Um, <laughs> Thanks, Danny. You met a lot of cool. Pe- oh wait, no, you didn't talk to anybody. So you you were well, you went. To people. You were there. People. That was cool. Uh, you got to see some stuff, and you did a great job of social media while you were there. I'll give you that. But um, 
I need to do better at social media. No, you were doing good. I, I, no, I mean now I do. Oh yeah, now you do. But you were you were on point then. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, so I I, I would like to go to one if they ever have it back close. Um, I think it would be a little more feasible going the entire way across the country. You know, you can't get much further than Anaheim from South Florida. I mean, you can, but it's not. I mean, to be fair, I could probably stay with my cousin or something like that, or stay with a friend. But it's like. You know, you have to pay for the plane ticket, and then you have to pay for, you know, to get there, and you want to go to Disneyland, and... And then you have to talk to your cousin, and that's a whole other thing. Like, I don't... Well, but he has a cool job, so at least I am more than happy to talk to him, but, uh... Yeah, I don't know. It's like, also, like, the Saturday passes are gone already. They're gone within a day. Friday's almost sold out, so... I think people learn from Chicago. I think the... Yeah, people learn from Chicago how, how many tickets will sell. They want to get it quickly. It's just when you see them on eBay for up to thirteen thousand dollars, it kind of ruins the experience. Yeah. This is turning into like a Comic Con. You remember that? Yeah, no, I know. That? We try to, or I try to go to Comic Con, or we try to go to Comic Con. Mm-hmm. I just couldn't get tickets, and I didn't hit refresh enough. Then I just gave up after five minutes. Yeah, it was and, a mess, but uh, um, you but know, still, like honestly, the coverage now is great. So you, you kind of don't need to go. And I'm not, I'm not trashing the experience. Once again, I would love to to do it once, but. I got to watch most of it from home. I know there was a few trailers or whatever that I couldn't see, and I still haven't tried to see, which or I know have been leaked. But you know, you could see everything there from home, and that's kind of where I'm at in my life right now. <laughs> yeah, I don't blame you. I, like I said, it's it's a year off, but it was like I don't know a year from now, a year from now, or a year from August. It's like, what am I going to be doing? Am I going to even have the money to go? Is it worth it? You know, it's going to be. Just a, it's probably just going to be about the same thing as Chicago. And Chicago is fun because I've never been to Chicago. So I got to experience a lot of Chicago. But Anaheim I've been to because I've been to Disneyland and, you know, California and San Francisco. So, yeah, I mean, like I said, there's not really much else to talk about. It's from August 27th through the 30th. Um, if you've bought be, tickets already. Huh? If you've bought tickets already, good way to go. Congratulations. Yeah. yeah give us uh, give us free stuff out of it. But, uh um, the only other story I could find that was even worth talking about, because most of the stuff they've been putting out is like comics and books and stuff that Brian's more interested in than you or I, is Mark Hamill talking about he kind of, he's, he's not saying he wouldn't like to come back for as Luke Skywalker, but he's kind of done, he's kind of hoping it's the end for yeah, it. Yeah, I mean, that ship has sailed, to be honest with you. If you come up with another piece of media that he could be in, it would have to be almost uh, animated, because... You just you wouldn't buy him, you know. I mean, they're gonna have to do a lot of makeup or something to to get him, if he, you know, to get him to look younger. Or unless he's some kind of you know keeps coming back as like force ghosts and stuff. But you're aging as a force ghost, and that's kind of weird. So <laughs> he's um, like, I'm dead, but I look nine you years look old, ten years older than you did when you died. <laughs> so, but no, like, I, I'm all for him being involved but i don't know if if you know if it kind of needs to be animated or something where he could use he could do the voice because i don't i don't really see it now and i'm fine with honestly i don't know why we got to keep staying with with you know the character if if i mean we haven't seen episode nine yet but I'm, i'm hoping there's some kind of a fitting ending where we don't need to keep going back to the same well i'm i mean i'm cool with the the newer characters like ray and all them getting more stuff to do but you know some of the original trilogy f- from 40 years ago like let's just let's get this over with yeah i think that's why they're putting uh what's his face billy d williams in the movie just to kind of cap off the whole entire series but he basically said well because luke skywalker has had closure in the last one the fact that i'm involved in any capacity is only because of the peculiar aspect of the star wars mythology where if you're a Jedi, you get to come back and make a curtain call as a Force ghost. So basically, basically he's saying, you know... So he pretty much gave away that he's a Force ghost. Yeah, well, pretty much, yeah. Like, so, Which we all knew was going to happen. Yeah, anyway. but I mean, was, I don't know if it was ever really announced. <laughs> but okay, he pretty much gave that away. Yeah. Um, I mean, I don't know. It's... I'm ready to move on as well. Um, I don't know how... I know Brian really wants to see, like... Um, Old Republic stuff, but... but I, like, as far as the original trilogy characters, and it's probably sacrilege to say, like, I'm just kind of ready to move on from them. You know, that you could have references or talk about or, you know, obviously be in the same universe, but 
I just, you know, we don't need Luke and Leia and, and all that going on for another 40 years. Yeah, and, you know, give us something new. So well, Leia's not going on any time. Um, it's just kind of funny also that uh, this weekend that we're recording, actually Mark Hamill was in a uh, new movie, uh, the remake of Child's Play. As Chucky. Oh yeah, I saw you saw that. How how did what did you think about that? Um, I thought it was interesting. I thought it was fun. Um, there's a really cool. There's a really good Star Wars joke in there. Where um, spoiler, but Andy is trying to figure out a name for Chucky, and he goes, uh, "I think I'm gonna call you Han Solo." And Chucky's like, "No, I'm gonna be called Chucky." I'm like, "That's that's a perfect name because of the whole you know Mark Hamill with Harrison Ford and they're back and forth." So I have a feeling that was a Mark Hamill joke. But. Yeah, that's cool. I mean, so it. By the way, you know, make sure to tune into Nick's YouTube channel, Movie Emporium, for his full review of Child's Play. Yeah, I'm not trying to. <laughs> Thanks for that, Kenny. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, watch Movie Emporium, but um, I'm still wondering if they can close out the Star Wars franchise series with Skywalker Saga. I hope it's good. I mean, I'm I want to see Ray, and I want to see you know. Again, I, it's sad if if this is it. You know, I I think there's still more to to go with them and. And depending on how it ends with Kylo Ren and and all those guys, Finn and Poe and all those, mm. it would be fun to see more of that, obviously. But as far as the original, I'm kind of I'm kind of ready to go with that. And I'm anxious to see, you know, it, uh, like Brian was talking about with the Old Republic and and some different avenues of the Star Wars universe that haven't been explored or have been explored, but only in animated series or in the comics or stuff like that. Like let's let's bring them to the light now. You now, know? with Brian not being here and us not having a lot, he's a piece of, of shit, of really. Oh, now that I finally get to say something since he's not here, no, I'm kidding. Brian. You're fine. <laughs> um, I don't condone anything Kenny says. Oh, actually, that's uh, our oh, first. Wait. That's our first swear word of the day. I'm sorry. I, I, I got to put earlier. So oh, that's not. That's that's that PG. I got to put a nickel in the jar. <laughs> the Star Wars jar. Star Wars um, jar. Now the nickel. Now the jar has one nickel in it. So. Do you feel like you you like Star Wars more that you do a podcast now for it? I've always yeah, absolutely. I know, you, like, I know you don't really like. You, you get frustrated sometimes with the whole Star Wars thing, and honestly, everything. well, you know, once again, I'm the new guy here. I'm the the, the casual guy, the casual fan, the kind of new person coming into the to the series. But yeah, I, I feel like obviously this has brought me closer to a lot of the media, like watching the you know Clone Wars and Rebels and and doing the reviews that we're doing. Obviously, I've learned a lot. There was a time; it wasn't that long ago when I hadn't even seen the original actually any of them all the way through it was probably not even six seven years ago where i hadn't even seen one full movie yet so you put it probably would have laughed at doing a star wars podcast well you? exactly and that's well, obviously i had to do my 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 homework at that i mean i had seen them when we started doing the podcast of course mm. but not that many times and still like you know attack of the clones i've probably seen twice you know mm. uh, the time i watched it before and then the time that we reviewed it and, you know, if I don't watch it again, it probably wouldn't be the worst thing ever, but I'll <laughs> probably put it on again, you know. But, no, like, you know, some of the other stuff I'm still seeing through relatively new eyes, even though I've only seen them, you know, four or five times. I'm not like Brian where I can recite every word with my eyes closed. But, I mean, I'll, I'll get there. I'm, like I said, I'm the new guy. But that's why I kind of enjoy some of the newer stuff or even the animated stuff. Yeah. Um, you know, Rebels. I'm a big fan of Rebels and Clone Wars and stuff like that, and I'm kind of I'm excited for Mandalorian, and I was excited for Resistance before it started off really poorly, and then got obviously got going after a while. But yeah, that's kind of where I'm at with that. I mean, I don't have the luxury of like you, where you've been watching them your entire life, or like Brian, where he's been watching them entire his entire life. Yeah, I think Brian has a little more because I didn't read the books; I just watched the movies. Which, but I beat simple. him in two quizzes for Solo, so. See, Brian's not here to defend himself, so we can say whatever. I want. win. I won, and I'll beat you again if we ever do a <laughs> solo or a Last Jedi quiz. I mean, uh, probably even Force Awakens. I'll beat you. There you go. Into there the ground. Go. <laughs> so that's it on news. There's not much else to talk about. It's it's a Sunday. It's the middle of the summer. Star Wars is not really ramping up until. September, October, whenever they start selling tickets and we get a new trailer and we get start getting like real heavy into the Mandalorian and the books. So, I mean, these episodes are probably going to be a lot shorter unless I decided to get my uh, shit together and start doing fucking... Um, yeah, 15 cents. What's that? 15 cents now into the oh, jar. Uh, well, <laughs> yeah, I need, I need to put like $10 in there right now. 
Um, or uh, was that uh, radio drama? So I need to get my act together on that because I need to. Start, I'm honestly <laughs> thinking about just restarting a new radio drama because I have no idea where I want to go with the story and. It was a mess. Mm. I was listening to it, and I'm like, "This is disgusting." And yeah, I mean, I, honestly, it didn't make too much sense when we were doing it. I was <laughs> like, "I don't really get what is happening." I kept trying to ask Brian, like, "What do you? What story do you want me to tell?" And he would never send the information to me, so I just made up my own story. And it's a lot, Brian. You're the yeah. reason he failed at so. this. <laughs> um, You're the reason. Yeah. <laughs> Not Nick. You exactly, Brian. Exactly. Wherever you are, driving or flying, just looking deep into your soul and realize you're the reason so i found something really cool for it was it was in the kids page of star wars yeah there we go i was it was in the kids page of star wars but it was how many times do the robots say roger roger in star wars probably a lot if you could make a number guess what would you think you're talking about in in the films it, it, and yeah everything everything that was ever had the, the uh, are we talking about each Roger? So when they say Roger Roger, that's two times or no, it's just once. One. No, it's basically they're going Roger Roger. So not the, the, the two whole, Rogers. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so uh, that'd, be, <laughs> that'd be a lot more. <laughs> um, I would say two hundred and sixty-three. Uh, a lot lower than that. Oh, lower? Yeah. Okay, so we're start. We're like um, Price is Right here. Um, 112? A little bit closer. Am I... Um, lower, lower. Lower? 92. Higher. 99. Lower. 95. There we go. 95! You say it 95 times. I'm like, that's a lot less than I was expecting. Well, that's what I was saying. That's why I came started out with 200 and whatever. Like, cause I'm, I'm like, okay, well, it... Roger, Roger. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then, I just know how much you love the, love the uh, battle. That was another thing. I used to... Uh, they, they got off on the wrong foot with me, but then... And then they just came together. I, I'm a big fan. The real question should be, how many times does Jar Jar annoy you? Every time. <laughs> Even though, like, the, the only time he didn't was in the Clone Wars where they were under the sea. Right. Uh, down where it's wetter. Down where it's better. Uh, under the sea. Oh, my God. <laughs> terrible. <laughs> With the shark hammerhead uh, Biff, Biff yeah, Tamsin yeah, yeah. or whatever. Uh, that he wasn't that bad in those in that trilogy. No, nah, no, nah. no. It's um, it just makes me laugh. It's like there's people out there that actually take time to basically uh, figure out how many Roger Rogers or how many uh, you know of any character. So they could have missed this. So this isn't maybe official. This isn't like oh, it's Disney on the, it's canon on the Star Wars website. Oh, okay. Yeah, say, yeah, maybe so they maybe they they just missed one now. Yeah. Did anybody actually check this? Like if it's know. like a Nick quiz, you need <laughs> actual <laughs> like uh, like stat checkers and stuff. No, you're not that lucky. But that's just a little fun fact that I wanted to throw in there to kind of okay. Roger, Roger. There I think we we've probably said it more than more than they've said it over the thirty. I'm, by the way, what episode is this? Thirty-seven. Yeah, I think it's thirty-seven. If 37? I remember, I put thirty-six, but I think it's thirty-seven. Thirty-six or thirty-seven. We're getting up there in age, like like me and you. Actually, we're at your age, Kenny. We're, well, I'm 38 now. Oh, yeah. That's oh, right. Yeah. <laughs> we're getting old, forgetful. Times are a changing. Um, okay, so um, I wanted to do a really cool thing where we're going to get, we're going to answer a bunch, or Kenny's going to answer a bunch of questions. And we're going to find out what Star Wars character he is. Oh, cool. I can't wait. So. Hope I'm Biff Tamsin. Biff Tamsin. <laughs> riff, riff. You're Jar Jar Biff. Riff Tamsin. Yeah, I better not be freaking Jar Jar. It'd be funny. There's a there, the main portion of the question says, "If you're Jar Jar, just quit life." So I certainly hope I'm not Jar Jar. <laughs> um, okay, so it says, "Are you cute and cuddly like an Ewok, or are you harsh and unfeeling like Darth Vader?" I am. This quiz will help you guide. You, this quiz will help guide you to figure out what character you would have been a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. Uh, this is gonna take a few minutes to get through, so let's go ahead and start. Um, What's your favorite type of terrain? And there's a bunch of answers. Is wherever, beach, desert, swamp, tundra, forest, concrete jungle, or the plains? Um, is plains like just regular grass? A yeah. thing? Yeah, I want that because I don't. I don't this need. This thing. I remember the Jar Jar Binks episode or segment in uh, Phantom Menace. He was in the grass. Yeah, the plains. Yeah, he was. And that Windows 95 screensaver <laughs> looking thing that they had. Uh, good times. Uh, what's your philosophy in life? Is it all will, bow to my power? I look out for one person, me. Treat people with respect. Don't underestimate me based on my size. 
if at first you don't succeed, try, try again. I'm not afraid of anything. Peace, not war. Or country before family. So, some people will probably say it's about me, me, me. But I don't think that's the case. I am, uh... What was the one after that? Um... The respect one? I want that one. There's treat people with respect. I don't underestimate like, me based on my size. I feel like I treat people with respect. I try to treat people with respect. Treat people with respect? I try to. Alright. I, I, I try. You make it really hard sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> I try. <laughs> uh, what city would you live... What city would you like to live in? And this is actually funny because you've lived in a couple of these cities. New Orleans, Seattle, Las Vegas, Miami, Phoenix, Atlanta, Chicago, or Honolulu? Uh, I got New Orleans. New Orleans? I got to choose. Um, let's see. What's your relationship status? Engaged, divorced, widowed, live in significant other, single forever, currently single, it's, it's complicated. I'm on two of those things. Like... <laughs> In a relationship. I live with my significant other. You want to use that one? Yeah, let's go with that one. <laughs> well, she's not in the room, so I can say anything I want to say. But... Yeah, she do not listen to this, so. Uh, what's, your fir- what's your favorite piece of clothing? Fur coat? Fancy dress? A suit? Some boots? A jacket? A swimsuit? A hat? Or bathrobe? Wow. Uh, swimsuit. Uh, let's see. What's your favorite mode of transport? A bus, a plane, a private jet, a car, a motorcycle, my own two feet, a boat, or a train? I'll take private jet. Private jet. You know, there I've you never go. Been on a private jet. I'll take a private jet. And if only I could take a private jet, man. Every time I flew somewhere, it'd be so nice. I would definitely fly more places. Yeah, I wouldn't have to sit and like connect to the whole fucking. I would fly to window. Work. Huh? I would fly to work every day. There you go. I'm sure a transporter actually teleporter. That'd be cool. Is that an option? I wish. No. That, uh, yeah, unfortunately with a Star Trek quiz, that would be a different story. Star Trek quiz? Star Trek. Is that Trek. what you just said? Yeah, if it was Star Trek. Oh, okay. yeah, they I, have like, I think you just called this a Star Trek quiz. I'm like, no, our, our, it our, could be a Star Trek quiz. You did your other podcast. <laughs> Nobody would listen to us. Oh, wait, they don't. Bean uh, me up. <laughs> beat me up. He beat me up all night. Uh, what's your favorite color? Green, black, pink, blue, brown, yellow, white, or purple? And red is not an option. It is not. Black. Black. Like your soul. Yes. Like my women. <laughs> uh, career. What's your dream job? Lawyer, spiritual advisor, teacher, activist, salesman, soldier, astronaut, or politician? God, yeah. Each one does Weird count. options out there. You know what? I'll be a politician correct our world we can make our world great again uh how would you save the day negotiate come in at the last minute brute force never giving up by convincing the other side they are wrong take all the credit for other people's work team up with others or getting the enemy to trust me or you nothing makes me more happier than to convince someone that they're wrong like, that is the best day. You do that quite often, Kenny. So I, I live for that. <laughs> All right. So I think that was the last one. Um, calculating results. Who am I? You are a U.S. Navy. Uh, that's a that's a ad. You're a I U.S. Can Navy. Be all I can be. <laughs> uh, you are Yoda, actually. Oh, freaking right. Says yeah. we all aspire to be like you. I don't think so. Yes, uh, I. That's what I say every day. To be the, you claim this, but you're often the smartest person in the room. I am. And all of your friends seek your advice. They do. Uh, but sometimes you can be impatient while trying to help Me others. Me impatient? Learn. No. <laughs> Not at all. Uh, take a deep breath and help people understand why. You're yes. Them why? This is why, everybody. I can train you to tell you why that you're fucking up. Oh my god. But nobody listens. So I gotta tell them why. They need to know. Yeah, I swear to God, man. Every time you tell me, I just want to put a quarter in for cussing you out. You, you need to know why. Everybody <laughs> needs to know. Colleen loves when I tell her when she's wrong. <laughs> Use a stick. Damn it. Learn. She loves to, to be for me to tell her what's wrong with her. It's her <laughs> favorite day ever. <laughs> That's why she yells at you all the time. <laughs> um, but your advice is be less cryptic. So when you're trying to tell me something... You gotta tell me in big words, not small. I'll words. tell you exactly what what's what. <laughs> it should be, be more cryptic. <laughs> yeah. um, but 
Yeah, there was, like I said, I was looking for a quiz to do, but it was like... Yeah, it's weird, because we can't do a quiz, because there's not... Like, I can't quiz you and someone else. Like, Although, if I quizzed you and, like, the fan over there, you might actually win one. <laughs> I don't know about that, actually. <laughs> You'd be like, how does the wind go? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> what, tre- what sound do trees make? <laughs> we'll get you on that one. Yeah, right. Well, next we're going to talk about... Uh, the E3, they had the Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order gameplay. Yes! And yes! Yes, it was quite fun, but I figured we'd watch it, kind of talk about it as it's rolling. YouTube kind so, of guy. So, as we're talking about this, we're uh, going to watch the gameplay of it. I've seen it before, but... Um, I've only seen it once, but it looks... To, to start off with, the first thing I'm, I am I look at is Uncharted. Yeah. The green... Like, I remember like the first gameplay trailers of like Uncharted... You're in the forest and stuff like that. You can. Th- that's what this looks like. It also reminds me of. Did you play Titanfall two? I did, but I didn't finish it. You remember the wall running in that game? I. It was so long. Yeah, I don't. I don't remember too much about it. I and mean, once again, I didn't finish it. Mm-hmm. But yeah, he like he does the wall running. Oh yeah, that's cool. Like he's that. running. Yeah, he's yeah. running on the wall. He's like running up a crate or whatever. Yeah. But yeah, that's very. Uncharted, you know, it's it's not necessarily the same, but I like the you know right off the bat you get to see Sagarera. How excited did you it's get? It's nice this. to see by the, you know he's there, which you know you you only saw him really in in a uh, you know, Clone Wars for a little bit, and then no. uh, was he in Rebel? I don't remember if he was in Rebels, and then in, um yeah, I think he was in Rebels was he for in a Rebels? little bit. I yeah, yeah I think it's because he only showed up in a couple episodes. Yeah, and then he was Wars. in Rogue One all of a sudden, and you know you didn't really get to see his. You know, how he got all his battle scars and stuff like that. And, mm-hmm. you know, he's battle tested by the end. And when you see him in Clone Wars, he's just a guy. So with this little droid that's hanging out with him, he yeah. seems pretty cool. You get you get to have him with you? Yeah, he's like your, uh, you're like, when you upgrade, you get your maintenance and stuff like that. It's called BD-1. Bye. Um, he's leaving. Everybody's leaving. And, um, and they're, all right, get on, bud. And we're going to go. Yeah, I like the smooth transition between cutscene and and like, I mean, I'm sure there's plenty of games like that now, but mm-hmm. yeah, no, it's like uh, it's pretty cool because um, the way the new game systems are going, like the transitions and load times and stuff like that. Are this looks amazing. Yeah, I mean, it just sucks when you get the game; it takes you like three hours or whatever to download it all, if yeah, not more. Yeah. But. You know, I like lightsaber stuff. I've never played a Star Wars game that was single player, and I know Brian has and stuff like that. I mean, because I wasn't a fan that long ago, so like this is all going to be new to me, and I'm really excited. And this is a cool time frame, you know, right after Revenge of the Sith, mm-hmm. that you know I'm not that familiar with, really. I mean, I know there's other media out there that that goes into it, but I'm not familiar with it. I just like the scope. I like the fact that you're finally getting to play kind of really as a Jedi. You got to do it as uh, whatever his character's name was in uh, Force Unleashed. But, you know, to use it, I like the fact that it's the guy from uh, Shameless. I don't know if anybody watched Shameless. It's, Colleen uh, loves that show. Yeah, I've never really watched it that much. Um, he was the Joker in that, le- that last Batman show, Gotham. But, um,. The thing that's really cool in in this game is there's a lot of cool moves and abilities. Like at some point during this gameplay footage, uh, Cal Castus or whatever his name is is going <coughs> to use a is someone's going one of the stormtroopers is going to blow a um, a bolt at him and he's going to freeze the guy and then pull the guy towards him and push him in front of the bolt. Yeah, that's really cool. Like right there where he just like grabs the guy and just and stabs just him right it's in like, the freaking yeah, right in the gut. Like this, like, like that is. Yeah, so, so he's cool. like freezing time and stuff or something yeah. like yeah Which no is... this is super cool yeah, it just it looks amazing like you know I, I don't play as many games as I used to mm-hmm. but this looks amazing um, why is R2 there that's not R2 no nah, it's just a for, it's a I, I feel bad because apparently like this droid you don't even have to like damage but he did anyway yeah. because I'm sure there's people that have analyzed every single frame of this this thing. But no, this looks amazing. I'll be spending many a time <laughs> playing this. See, also, the thing I like about this is it's um, you get to be a gray Jedi, which is like the in-between Jedis. Yeah. Uh, but here we get the... Um, Inquisitor-looking dude or whatever. 
I think they're called. What do you call it? This is like a boss, but he's not really a boss, is he? As the dog. Um, the what room. were those? Um, what were the characters that were uh, trying to track down Jedi's and the Rebels? Inquisitors. Yeah, it's it's like the second sister or something. Like oh, that. second brother and yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, so I think they're Inquisitors, but they're called Jedi. Um, they're called Sith. Didn't we think that what's her face was going to be a second sister? Is that a, a yeah, the um, ja- Barris Offie? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was rumors that yeah, she's in this game. I know it's some silence here, but yeah, I'm just watching this gameplay. Oh, no, yeah, yeah. If you want, I'll put in the where we start watching so you can follow along if you want to watch the. Because I know we'll get flagged if I try to uh, put the footage in there. Yeah. I'm going to put this on YouTube, so. Oh, this is great. Yeah, we're. we're uh... I mean, it's just, I, I know this is this is like a demo build or whatever, so they've made sure that to, to to like make it perfect, but still, it's you know very smooth and you know everything's kind of polished. And like I said, I mean they had to because they're not going to put it unpolished. The only thing, thing that there. the only thing that bothers me about this is this is what the computer build, probably the PC build. So I don't think the PlayStation version, unless you have a PS4 Pro. Yeah, I don't have that. Night. It's very smooth. But yeah, I don't. I mean, I'm I got the playstation that came out on day one in 2000 whatever year 13 yeah. so i'm actually surprised that thing's still chugging along yeah for as long as put, some, it. put some hours on that thing too it just sucks my controller the l2 button doesn't work that's the only problem i just yeah, gotta get another controller exactly. eventually i'll get one i just try to play games that don't need l2 yeah just wait till the ps5 comes out because they'll have backwards compatibility so that's like two more years yeah, that's in, that's in November of 2020. So he's in this he's in this room now, uh, with yeah, whatever. He just killed a bunch of bees and like he's gonna go through this fan. Apparently, this game's like very linear, but also it has a lot of openness to it. So like, you don't even have to kill these. Well, I mean, there, yeah, there's, it doesn't look like there's a whole lot more places to go here. Like it does appear, it's it like kind of leads you along the way you need to go but like i would just let those freaking stormtroopers kill those things and not do it myself hey they're way better shots in this game though than in actual film star wars like they've actually hit him a few times which is not realistic i'm hoping the stormtroopers can't I'm shoot hoping for like, shit. this game is or this demo is what this game is going to be like. I worry for Brian. Brian, you suck at video games, and you're going to probably die real quick, and then you're not you're going to hate it, and then like he keeps getting stuck in this web. Those are big spiders. That's why you got to get a cat. You should have a cat like running with him. <laughs> That's why you got to get a cat. <laughs> <laughs> have a cat with you. Go kill the spiders. Yeah, I got two cats, so I'm good. They'll just attack from both sides. No, let's go take a nap and <laughs> pee on it. Oh, yeah. No, I like the lightsaber. It'd be kind of cool to, to swing that thing around. Skill point. So I'm assuming the skill point will go to whatever like skill tree, and you'll be able to level up whatever thing you choose. Yeah, yeah it's going to be one of those games where you have all these powers. I like stuff like that, though. That's um, like- apparently the... Um, Lightsaber is gonna be like always evolving, so how it looks now in the beginning of the game will look completely different. There's not nearly enough loot. Like I like killing stuff and like going and getting their shit. Right. Like Borderlands. Can we review Borderlands next? Oh, wait, no, that's not a Borderlands podcast. <laughs> we can talk about Borderlands. <laughs> I love Borderlands. We gotta talk about uh, Bioshock first. I, I, you know, I've never. Oh shit, he's got eat by. He got bit by a spider. There's a lot of spiders. 
I know. I thought I thought because this takes place on the Wookiee planet of Kashyyyk. I'm like, I didn't know they had spiders on this planet. And they're so like everywhere. You think all the Wookies would have done like extincted the spiders? Yeah. Right. Right. He's in the swamp. Yeah, go, I like the shadowing, and the, you can see that he's wet when he gets out of the water. I like that. So the new trooper is not the second sister, but the new troopers are called purge troopers. Purge troopers? took me forever to find that, but I just found it. That's why it. you've been quiet over there. Yeah, this is straight out of, like, now he's in like the Titanfall w- and Uncharted. Wastewater. Oh, he stops that thing. Runs across you think it. if you, like, stand there long enough, it'll speed up so quickly that it'll just, like, throw you off? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> yeah, he's going to... But I, you'd think you would hold his ground. Sap barrels. You can read more about sap barrels. Yeah, this is like this the is like best part right here. here. You can come in and throw that dude out the window or whatever. Get him. Hey, what's that? So he just went in. Oh, yeah, this is where the, yeah, the cool stormtrooper death pulls him over and stabs him in the chest. Can you imagine if you signed up for. The signed up for to be in the Empire or something like that, unless you're recruited. And this is how you die by fucking, yeah, by your own blast. Yeah, by your own bolt blast. You're like, look at this shit. This is like the worst death ever, man. It's got shot in the head by your yeah. own freaking shot. I think this is part where it took me some. I don't know, this isn't like uh, you're gonna see one of the K uh, KSO units come up here soon. Oh, I think I was about to say KFC. I was just like, oh, that? I think I said something about KFC. I was about no, that. no, no KFC this time. <laughs> Oh, it looks great, though. It really is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, he hasn't died once, so it, it may be a little too easy. Just but, I mean, what's that? No, I'm just like, like, he pushed him off the side there. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah, I'm sure this is just a demo, like, thing, but, I don't know, maybe, it, and this guy, like, knows all the buttons and stuff, but I feel like I would have probably died a couple times with all this stuff happening. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I want to just keep stabbing people right in the stomach with my freaking... <laughs> lightsaber like that's what i would want to do if i had a lightsaber just right well you cut me off in traffic i'm gonna stab you in the <laughs> stomach and like i would want to take his freaking weapon right there that's so cool. he's like he's like whole, he's actually trying to hold himself back from being pulled forward oh yeah i didn't notice and that like, yeah and he just like goes after cow right there the um inquisitor like but yeah if i killed him i want his weapon i want his little purple Saber, but you can't, like, pick it up. The that kind of sucks. Burn marks in them. Yeah, that's The only bad cool. thing is, like, because this is now that Disney owns Star Wars, there's going to be, like, no decapitations and arm cutoffs and stuff like I that. I mean, you just stabbed a guy in the stomach and also got a headshot from a guy that yeah. shot his own, you know, shot it. I mean, it's enough, but yeah. Do you ever wonder, like, how a stormtrooper goes to pee? Do they have to, like, remove all their armor for the... <laughs> like, I was just, like, thinking about that. Do you think that, that they would put, like, little things in there. Yeah. Who's this? Oh, that's a Wookiee. And we got our K unit. K, they call them K2SO or KSO units or something. KFC units. <laughs> what does it call this episode? KFC unit. Is that? Yeah, this, I think this is the end of the ep- end of this segment. Yeah, like get him. All right, so oh, wait. Oh, here we go. Yeah, no, that's awesome. Love. I love the things you can do. Oh, there's like they showed the trailer at uh, E3, or I mean not E3, but Microsoft, where you see the at ATAT walkers just like moving along in the swamp. You see like growth all over them and stuff like that, which is really cool. yeah, that's cool. I mean, this is stuff that you know maybe came out in other video games back in the day. Yeah, before I was a Star Wars guy, I would have never touched it. But like, yeah, I want to get an ATA in a in. I want to get in an ATAT or like right. do different things that I've never done, you know, since I've been a Star Wars fan. But it's probably been done before, but just not by me. Exactly. Um, but yeah, like I said, it's it's really good looking. It's you know, Respawn is a really good studio, so I have a lot of faith that they're going to do a lot of good work with the game. Apparently, what we've seen is nowhere close to what we're actually going to get. Like with how much stuff we're going to get the. 
the um, uh, the twists and turns and all that good stuff. So I'm excited for it, which I uh, haven't been for a long time. So yeah, no, I well, it just sucked with with um, Star Wars game well, Battlefront, Battlefront, yeah, one and two. You know, oh, just you know, it's not really there. my cup of tea with the multiplayer. And I'm not gonna, you know, I mean, I've done multiplayer. I'm not like Brian who refuses. Mm-hmm. But, you know, I just, it's not my thing. I like a story mode. I like, you know, really diving deep into stuff like that. I want it to be, hell, like, if if you can make it a 50-hour game, give it to me. And I'll take yeah. the most in-depth game. I'm sure it won't be like that, but I want to be able to explore on my own without worrying about some freaking kid, some 10-year-old kid coming out and freaking <laughs> killing me. Yeah, that's, it's a nice thing. It's single player, so that's can't really complain about that so um but yeah so like i said uh i'll put the the time stamp of when you can start following us with the gameplay and then uh do that go from there but um yeah like i said that's pretty much it on everything star wars related outside of what we're going to talk about next if you're driving do not follow along with yeah the video. well i mean if you do i uh we uh, hold no responsibility to your driving and watching of videos we don't want you to do certain things to cars you know you know how this works don't do certain things to cars. <laughs> um, but we're going to go ahead and head into the... Uh, finally, let's talk about some of the Clone Wars. We haven't was, done Clone Wars in ever. No, for a long time. Like We actually... The last time we did a Clone Wars was uh, before I went to Celebration. It was before... Yeah, and then they like took it all off of yeah. Netflix and everything. So And we just figured that we'd just wait till we actually... Well, we were going to do it several like a month ago, but you know things happened, so... Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and head to the se- first episode of Season 6 of Clone Wars. So the first one we're going to do is Season 6, and we're I'm, I'm excited we're in the last... Not the last, well, the last season of known Clone Wars. Hopefully we can get yeah, through this so, before the new Clone Wars comes yeah, out. Yeah, season seven, yeah. Um, season six, episode one, The Unknown. Fluffs, what's happening to me? You don't remember? No. You murdered General Tiplar. What? No. That's not possible. I, I, I would never. I, I, I could never. Tub. You did. I don't... I don't understand. How could this happen? What's happening to me, Vibes? Ah, ah, no! No! Clone Trooper Tup is suffering from a severe neuro- neurological disorder that causes the death of a Jedi Master. Trying to find the motives for the ass- assassination, Anakin escorts Tup back to Kamino for examination. Um, I'll start out with some trivia, and then we can figure out who wants to go first. Uh, Kick's tattoo on the side of his head says, a good droid is a dead one in Arabesh, which is kind of reminiscent of, um, I would say, uh, Full Metal Jacket, because I think there's something somewhere on one of, the, one of the helmets of one of the soldiers or whatever. The Unknown contains music that is very reminiscent to Warjack, Kolar's Vampire Hunters from Bram Stoker's Dracula, the exact same track were originally written for and used in Season 1's of Mal- Mal- Malavin's Trilogy. Mal- Malevolence. Malevolence trilogy. I, I was going to say, I enjoyed the music, which yeah. I'll have to say that later. Uh, Jedi twins Tipley and Tiplar were based on unused concept art for a female Sith by Ian McCraig. Uh, let's see. Uh, do one more. Uh, the episode deals with the consequences of the droid clone program and their buried Order 66 coming to light too soon in tro- Trooper Top. And I cannot talk today. So, Kenny, you watched this recently. I watched this last week. Um, what did you think of this episode? So, this episode was by far my favorite episode of the, really? of the four episodes. This of it had the most going on with it, and you know, I'll get into my flaws with the other episodes, you know, later. But you know, there, I mean, there was a it was a few cool things there. Uh, first off, with the Jedi, the two sisters, you know, I know you can't just kill a, a known Jedi. And you, you know, but you, you just introduce these two Jedi just to kill them. It's kind of weird. You know, hey, woman I just met two minutes ago, I'm going to shoot you in the face. 
you know? <laughs> yeah, that seems to happen a lot. Like, you know, I would like to see... Random people you know, get killed. Yeah, it's just a... They, they introduced him just to die. And which, once, once again, I know you can't just be killing off known mm. characters just for one arc in a season six kind of Netflix-only season. Yeah. But still, like, yeah, like I never met these people. And, and, you know, I know the whole point isn't to really mourn them. It's more about the actual, you know, clone and the issues. But still, I, I would have liked to have... You know, you could have introduced these women, these Jedi, in another episode and killed them here, just to make that loss a little more important. Which I know has been like my biggest complaint. Not my big. It's been a, a reoccurring complaint about things like that right. through the series. It was weird. Their hair was all wavy, like you, like they were underwater, even when they weren't. Which yeah, was I thought it was kind of cool. Freaking me out, like. <laughs> I thought it was kind of cool. I thought I'd give him a little bit of flair. Um, just kind of, it was unique. Woo! Yeah, they had pieces of flair, so. Um, yeah, I mean, like I said, it's uh, it's kind of funny that they actually, it, they show before and after, um, what's her face? Tip, one of the, whoever dies. You um, just read it, too. What's that? You just read it, too. Oh, did I? Yeah, I know. Um, so. It, it, it was just funny how, like... See, she's so un- unimportant that you don't even remember her name. Yeah, I know. I forgot as soon as I read it, but uh, it's just kind of funny how they show the before and after of her getting shot, but they don't actually show her getting shot. But you see, like, the smoke coming from her uh, body from where the shot happened. And just to watch Tup start, like, freaking out, and you have no idea what's going on, and the fact that we're getting into what is considered, like, the big, one of the biggest moments in Star Wars, period, with Order 66. Um, I mean, it was a good episode. I, uh... I liked the last episode a lot more, but it was still there was a good cool, first. A couple point. cool things I liked in this this episode. There was a, a there was actually two, and I love single shot scenes. Like every time I see one, I like kind of mark out over it. Yeah, and there was a couple in this when they were like they were on the shuttle about to take when they were taking Tup back to Camino, and then the, the shuttle got attacked. They, you know, and that was a single shot, kind of reminded me of, which was done afterward, of course, but it reminded me of, like, some of the, the Daredevil, like, prison scenes and stuff like that, where it was right. one shot. And it was kind of, and a, you know, in a, in a small, confined space, it was done really well. Uh, I did like the music, which I kind of mentioned, and you, I know you mentioned some trivia on. Um, when they were in the shuttle, after, when Anakin got to the shuttle, after Tup had already been taken, there was just all those dead clones floating around which was pretty dark it was kind of cool uh i don't know if you remember and it's been a little while since you watched yeah, it yeah no um i i just remember being kind of like a rescue mission also because they were taking him to camino because they thought he had a virus and then like he gets kidnapped by what dooku right dooku and crew they take him to because they're going to take him in yeah yeah or something, they, whatever, exactly whatever. and they did they, they they get him or whatever but still the 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 act of them you know coming to get him yeah and it was shot really well and with the, the single shot and then you know after anakin comes to see and when they find out the tough's been taken yeah just all the dead clones just floating around in the ship right, with their right. eyes open and that was kind of creepy especially for an you know, animated series that was post disney too right like season no, six no. of netflix it was uh yeah i don't remember if netflix yeah, season remember. six I was thought, already disney. yeah yeah um, I know the first five were not. Yeah, because I don't know. Was it me or did the did you think the animation was on par with the the five seasons or do you think it was a little no? Bit... It didn't look great, honestly. No, there, yeah. was, but once again, I was a big fan of the the, the the single shot scene. But yeah, the animation was not as good as as it had been in season four and five when they really started hitting their stride with the animation. It looked it kind of like went back a little bit. With yeah, that. And that was the thing I was worried about before I saw the footage for season seven. Was that they were going to have to lessen the visual look of Clone Wars because of Disney and with Rebels? I know you like Rebels and you like what was going on, but I got I used felt, to the animation though. Yeah, I know it was just it was really off putting, but it didn't make the episodes like any less. But you know, I still I still enjoyed it for what it was. I still like the fact that. The clones are kind of getting a little bit of a interesting story arc. We're finally seeing that these clones actually have like true personalities, and we're getting fives into the story and top and people that you really care about. And it's an interesting arc, and it's interesting to see that they are basically everybody was basically manipulated that these clones were never going to have a chance to have a you know a real life. And yeah, and that's that's sad, you know, but. 
some of my complaints about the, the episodes moving forward are, are kind of kind of tie into that. There's one more thing on this episode. So there was a there was a line that maybe so I don't understand like because I'm the new guy. Maybe Brian would know, but yeah, it was weird. So they're looking for they're going to where Tup is being held. And they kind of sneak up, and there's some droids. There's a shit ton of droids up on the platform, and they're kind of hanging off. Uh-huh. And they and and they bring out their their binocular scopes, whatever. And Anakin has the scopes, and Rex looks over and says, "Are your scopes Jedi issued, sir?" Like I'm like, what does that mean? Like why Are your does scopes he Jedi, Jedi, Jedi issued? Yeah, to to Anakin, and I'm like, that's a weird thing to say. And then Anakin gives like a weird smile and says, "Stay focused, fives." Or I guess it was fives that asked the question. Anyway, so yeah, it was. Are your are your scopes Jedi issued, sir? And then like, that's I, what I, fives asked him. And then like, what, what Anakin smiles and says, "Stay focused, fives." And I'm like, that's so weird. Well, like, was that a thing? Like a callback to another episode, or like, uh, why would he have scopes? And why would Anakin be like kind of sly about it? Like, don't don't worry about my scopes. You know, this is like a weird line. I have to get Brian on that because I like just watch that that scene real quick, Brian you're out there and well, you're out there you're listening i know you are <laughs> and what to ask him about that i don't i don't know that doesn't like was there a, ever a time when he was issued like a different binocular or whatever <laughs> like it just kind of got me I'm like wait i never even rewinded it and listened to it again like is that, is it that like code that? for you're gonna kill a bunch of jedi when you're <laughs> so anyway, when you get older yeah uh, but uh, uh, this was i gave it an a minus uh, yeah. really it was my favorite episode and i got my complaints about the other ones but this one had the cool you know it was a cool battle at the beginning Set everything up. I'm a little frustrated that I didn't know the Jedi first before they got killed. And um, but yeah, I have no. This was easily my favorite, my favorite episode of the. Of the um, I give it like a part. solid B. Um, I think the next episode is a little bit better, but it, like as far as setups go, and we're getting into like I said, episodes that don't really follow any particular arc of any of the series in season one through five, at least not that I know of so far. I haven't seen the other episodes yet. It felt good for a four arc. But I'm going to uh, say, four. I'm going to do, I'm going to do a Nick thing here and I'll say it now. What? Three episodes. It didn't need to be four episodes. Yeah, and I know it's your yeah, thing. And, and if we get on you about that, like, but I'm like, oh, it's so frustrating. <laughs> like in this case, like you don't need all this. It was like kind of repetitive a lot of the time, like just frustrating c- character choices that they're making that just extend it longer. Yeah, and I, you know, it's just one of those weird things. I think that I think maybe they just wanted. I was there like twelve episodes in season three or season six. I mean, yeah. it's like something like that, like twelve episodes. They probably wanted to do like they're doing with the next season, do like four, four season, four episode season arcs, 13. Or whatever. Thirteen. Okay. Um, that could have been the reason why. I don't know. It's it's one of those things. But anyways, uh, yeah, I'll give it a B. But uh, what do we got for next episode? So next episode is season six, episode two, conspiracy. You will have to say goodbye to your friend now. Yes, Doctor. General Shakti. Captain Rex. Fives. Am I correct? Yes, General. You've served with Top. Yes. You must come with me. With... uh, with all due respect, General. I can't just abandon him now. You must let the doctors do their work. Do not be afraid. Your friend is in quite capable hands. Clone Trooper Tup is undergoing a medical examination in the self... Oh, wow. I thought that said selfie. (laughs) In the (laughs) sterile laboratories of Kamino to find the motives for his shocking attack on the Jedi Master. For the examination to succeed, Trooper Fives must enter the depth of Tup's mind. <laughs> um, None of that. Trivia for this is there's only really one real thing. This is after Fives attack the, after Five attacks the clone troopers and escapes the lab. Az three Az three says, "Look what you did! I can't believe what you did." Uh, this is most likely a callback to Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade, where Sean Connery says the exact same thing, which I actually completely forgot about to just now, which is kind of funny. Um, as far as I like this episode a lot because I like AZ three a lot. I know I don't know how how do you feel about him? He was the same character as Whack you from like so? last season. He was the same voice for easy yeah. the same voice, but it was the same mannerisms like droid you know learns human emotions and right and blah 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 whatever. But it was the same character. Just this one flew and the other one walked. 
you know, without quite the same animations, but it was the same character, same voice and everything. I, all I heard when he was talking was whack. Like, he put <laughs> whack, like, brain into a, right. like, a medical droid. Right. And, you know, I don't know. I don't know why different droids have different impressions on me, but, you know, this episode's basically dealing with how do we get this parasite or this chip or whatever, both sides, the Kaminoans are bad people and they want to do one thing and then the Jedi want to do another thing to top and it's like, you know, I almost feel bad for the clone troopers again because they're getting kind of screwed on everything. And there's just so much bickering, and I know why because there's all the there's the manipulation and stuff like that. Or who gets to you know like the the Camino ones know what's going on. They're trying to hide it, blah blah blah. But there's just so much bickering going on, and there's so many just not necessarily in this episode with the questionable decisions. I mean this mm. this this episode didn't get to that point yet, but oh, that was cool. Um. <laughs> The problem is, like, the ambivalent nature of the Kaminoans. I th- or not. They, like, know what's going on. Like, they want to, like, protect the chip or whatever that's in their brain. And I always like the fact that the Kaminoans, at least in the Attack of the Clones, were, like, ambivalent. They were kind of, you know, they, they, they were just there to make clones. And now it just feels like they're an enemy. Well, and I mean, you, you gotta really have weird. a good guy and you gotta have a bad guy in this. And I know I it can't know, always be... Dooku, and it can't always be, you know, Anakin or whatever. So I get it. You have to have somebody like a villain, and they yeah. played the villain here. But I just feel like I don't know. It's just too much bickering. I like that, you know, they had fives in one room and Tup in the other, and fives oh. was in the, you know, over there getting, and that's how you got to meet the the droid. Who, wore, you know, as it went on, I liked more and more. As the beginning, I was annoyed by him. Um. You know, in the it just sucks because like, and I, you could say this for a lot of like the a lot of prequels and stuff like that, but it just took too long to get to the point where we already know what's happening. Like we already know this word's not going to get out. Mm. We already know like the, like the first time I watched, it, I already know that the secret's going to die with him. Right. I mean, I, I know it got to Rex. You know, Rex obviously was suspicious, and you know, and and. Rebels, I guess he ripped it out or whatever before before they ordered sixty six or whatever. So this kind of shows yeah. you that. But to me, like it just took too long to get to the point where we already knew what was going to happen, and the the journey wasn't worth the ride. It wasn't worth the the end result. You know, it just that, wasn't that great. That was always a problem with the prequels for me. Is we're in on the we're in on the joke. We're in on the plan of what's going to happen, and. We have to, like, kind of go along. We know Palpatine's going to become, you know, Darth, whatever, or he's going to become Sidious, and we all we know that the Empire's going to fall, and these episodes, we know Order 66 is going to happen, so it kind of deters, it kind of lessens the impact. But it, I get, like... But I just, I don't know, I felt like it was cool that there's a, a clone trooper that's kind of becoming wise in the situation, but it makes Anakin, in the end, kind of, like, an idiot, because... One thing I can kind of disappears for two episodes and he comes back. I just feel like Anakin's kind of an idiot. Well, just in the because entire... he, he's played the Jedi. Oh god, that's my that's my complaint with the last one. So I want to kind of hold that off to the last no. last episode. But yeah, it just took too much. You know, knowing what's going to happen and, and it's a small scale kind of thing because you know that the secret he'll find out or whatever. You kind of knew yeah. he was going to figure out what's going on, but you also knew that it couldn't possibly get out considering everything so it's just like all right it's just taking too long to get to it and it's really not that entertaining like you know a lot of clone wars you kind of know what's going to happen eventually with anakin and all the characters but at least it's it's entertaining right. which is what a prequel should be you already know what's going to happen but entertain us and, and show us how and show us blah 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 but this was not that entertaining yeah so, i mean I, I like i said i still enjoyed az3 i know you did um I gave it a C plus, by the way. Oh, okay. (laughs) Um, I like the fact that, you know, the Comanians want to, uh, like I said, want to do the, like, basically kill him and do the, hide the evidence and open up cans of soda or beer or whatever you're drinking. And. It's beer. I don't know. You know it's beer. This guy, I don't even remember the last time I drank a soda in a can. (laughs) Anyway. Um, And. I like the fact that the Jedi want to do a completely different thing. It causes, like, a rift. But uh, 
I understand where you're coming from. I mean, I give it like I, I'm still giving it like a B. Plus, I mean, a C but... plus is not or a C. I don't know what I gave it, but it's not that bad. I mean, it's still, yeah. I had there were entertaining parts about it, and I the the droid got a you know he he grew on me. I like some of the testing that they were doing, but mm-hmm. after a while, I just kind of was like, okay, let's yeah, go. and that's why I think the second and third episode probably could have been combined. Exactly. Good point. So, uh, but yeah, we'll go ahead and move on to the next episode, which is. Fugitive, Season 6, Episode 3. Why are you doing this? I know what you've done. What is it that you think I have done? How do you explain this? That is a structural inhibitor chip, which is supposed to prevent you from being aggressive, like your source, Jango Fett. Jedi Master sifo instructed us to implant them during your growth cycle. The Jedi? The Jedi had this done to us? It is not uncommon to have inhibitors placed in a clone. Clone Trooper Tup is transported back to Coruscant. Coruscant. I always say Coruscant like it's getting cured. It's like I say Comedian wins. Clone Trooper Tup is transported back to Coruscant, where his body is to be examined by the Chancellor's personal physician. Our Trooper Fives is also investigating the matter. So this has like the most literal fortune cookie, Jedi fortune cookie, which is a tax in the beginning. When in doubt, go to the source. So, yeah. <laughs> That's the only trivia for it. Um, once again, this could have been combined with the second episode. It's basically what uh, Five's trying to figure out what's, what this chip is, what it, the problem with it is, how far back it goes. They figure out that pretty much every clone trooper has this chip in their brain that has some reason. But, like I said, it's basically him trying to, trying to figure out, and then he takes the chip out of his head and... So there was a couple of cool cool parts in this one that kind of you know helped migrate along, which was another C plus. But I like when they go to, to escape the Camino land or whatever. Like the was that a ship or Camino, Camino dock? Island? Camino island, island, whatever it is. Dock, yeah. And they just all they do is they get on a ship just to jump off and ride back. And I like that that the droid turns into like a like droids, a, a lot freaking of ski. Things. Yeah. Fucking whatever. I need my own droid ski. <laughs> just like drive me around. In the like water. a jet ski droid, yeah. whatever. He brings him back, which is kind of cool. I like that. Um, I did think the animation in this episode was pretty cool. I like the water effects, as always, in the rain. Yeah, the rain, when it rains, it looks cool in there. And then I like the, you know, some of the technology that they have to show, like the embryo, like the cloid, cloid, clone embryo, embryos. <laughs> Um and stuff like that when how they are able to determine what stage the you know, I mean I didn't know it was stage three of the embryo embryo process that yeah. the, you know the, okay hey I learned something that the chips were implanted in stuff like that you know so that was kind of cool I like that but it was it was more of the same more arguing over who gets the tumor and who's gonna who's gonna <laughs> check the, the who's gonna check the body and who's gonna do this research and yeah. you know, just more of the same stuff. Yeah, and it's like uh, the, was it? I like, and I like that they, they took the chip out of fives. Like that right. was kind of cool. Uh, I like how fives is running around as a stormtrooper and a clone trooper. Nobody's really even paying attention. And yeah, I, mean, I, well, I guess when you look like everyone someone. else, like huh? I guess when you look like everyone else, I feel like that, I feel like it's like a like Star Wars. Like the clone troopers look like everyone else. You're racist. Like, I mean, he has it's a giant so... five on his face or whatever. Yeah. And what was up with Tup? He's got the like the teardrop, like he was like he murdered someone in prison or whatever. Like, what's uh, with that? I don't know. Maybe he opens up a Tupperware and just he just had the, drop. the teardrop there. Like, okay, like with the, your prison tats, dude. Like, <laughs> like the crying Inda, crying, crying Inda, crying Indian in the uh, <laughs> the ads where he's that's just, like the calling, a small tear. Yeah, where he litters or whatever. <laughs> There's not much else, you know. Tup or Tup is being transported, and then. Five decides he's gonna be transported over, and yeah, it's. I'll give it a B. It's just like once again, it's more like we're getting answers that we already know. Yeah. Like, oh, cool. You're, we're just like along for the journey of, of how this one clone who we already know is not gonna make it out because there's no possible way he could. Right. Is gonna find all this information out, and he's gonna die because he has to die. There's no other way around it. He's gotta die, because or else the whole freaking. Sp- Star Wars series goes out goes down because everything is more predictable. Yeah, so which is kind of die. the kind of the, the problem you have to run into and fix. So, but yeah, that's the third episode. So what do we got next? So last of the week was season four episode 
I'm sorry, season six, episode four, Orders. I just need you to listen to me. Please. I'm not really sure we have any other choice. I was framed because I know the truth. The truth about a plot. A massive deception. By who? Well, there's a sinister plot in the works against the Jedi. I have proof of it. I can prove that everything that I know is true beyond a shadow of a doubt. Fives is still trying to find answers regarding the mysterious actions of Clone Trooper Tup. Hoping to personally speak with Chancellor Palpatine, Five finds himself suddenly accused of trying to murder the Chancellor. Um, so... <laughs> you really did not like this episode, huh? No. Uh, the room where Five and Shock T go before Chancellor Palpatine appears to be the same room that Anakin was turned into Darth Vader. And stupid yeah, that's trivia. that's cool. No, yeah. I, I like that. I didn't know um, that I didn't catch it. Fives is shot and killed by the, in this episode by Commander Fox. Sly Fox. Um, that's yeah, that's not trivia. But yeah, I like I like this episode because we got goofy drunk clone troopers. Oh, I did like that part. Yeah, yeah, they just go up and they're partying. It's the five hundred first, which is but like of all the places for him to like disappear to, he goes to the clone bar. <laughs> like, come on, dude! I, I even wrote that down. Like, uh, shocking. Like, let's yeah. just go to the bar. You know, <laughs> don't go anywhere else in the freaking city. You go to the bar. Well, isn't it on, like, level 13, 13 as well? I don't know, but I could figure that I would go somewhere else other than that. Like, of course, it seems like a pretty big planet. Literally go anywhere else, but you go to the bar. He's like, I'm going to my death. Actually, I can't remember. He didn't even a- drink. Like, yeah, if you're going to go to the bar, go get a drink. Didn't he? Was he? He's, like, dying, isn't he, in the episode? Like, he's, like. So that's my frustration with, with some of it. So the, the Camino and shoots him with something in the neck. When apparently nobody else is paying attention, even though you could see in the background Shock D is looking away. <laughs> like, say something. turn, or Make her turn around. Like, hey, what is that? Get away, get away from You know, something. So he gets shot in the neck, and that's going to end up being what makes him crazy. Or makes him seem crazy, so nobody right. believes him. You know, so yeah, he's spouting nonsense while looking all f- fatigued and stuff. So like, oh, whatever. What's wrong with you? You're crazy. <laughs> so... You know, how do he, he should have said something. He should have said, hey, turn around. Like, oh, and why is there no, everywhere else, is, they got, like, camera footage and stuff. But in, in this room, there's no camera footage. So she gets, you know, what? it's just, and go go ahead with what you like. I'm sorry. Oh, no, I just, this is an episode that basically proves that there's an Order 66. Proves that the fact of Fives was never going to make it out alive, which is, you knew it was going to happen. It's just, it's a lot of, we knew it was going to happen. We see Palpatine as a bad guy that he is. You can see he's manipulating. You can see the smile, the right smile. I didn't like the Dooku thing where he, at the end, he's like, oh, I have the chips. So was, I thought Dooku was kind of like not in the know. Of what, I don't, the problem with these episodes, especially these ones, is there's a lot of people who shouldn't be in the know that are in the know that don't really follow, just seem to be in the know later on and... This is a really, really strange <clears throat> arc. I like, like you said, you said it's better than the other two arcs coming up. But a lot of the prequels, like, honestly, and to be honest with you, the second time I watched it, like the first time I watched it, I enjoyed it more. This time, I did not enjoy it. Yeah. But with prequels, you get to learn more character type stuff. You know, I'm all for, like I said, if, even if you know what's ha- going to happen, if if someone's just going to die at the end, like obviously you know, you know, that Anakin's going to turn into Vader and he's going to die, blah, 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 you know, right. a billion, whatever, whatever it is later. But you can still learn character parts. We're dealing with characters that are you're never going to see again or you already know they're going to die. So it's mm. not like, oh, we get to see this beloved character turn out to, you know, how he turned into who he was. Nothing. You already know all of them are dying. So yeah. it's just, I felt like it was a, a more of a waste of time. I don't anyway. know. It feels like it feels like a fan service type of episode. Where I get it, and that, but you could have done two. Ep- and once again, that's your thing where you complain yeah. about how many episodes there are. I get yelled at. For that quite a bit. <laughs> this is the time where it's it's my turn to be like, this was a waste of time. Yeah. Really, you could have you could have, and I know you got to fill. I, I get season fillers and stuff like that. You got thirteen episodes. You got to kill. You do what you got to do. I'm not gonna take that. I'm not gonna. You know, you have to. I get it. But I just feel like they could. Maybe take to hold it a little bit differently to make it a little more exciting along the way. Maybe. Yeah. Who knows? And I, then it's so, one of those things where you got you got to wonder if if um, David Filoni was kind of like trying to figure out what he wanted to do, and they're like, 
we need 13 episodes by this time. And he's like, okay. It's just, I don't know. It's the same thing with, like I said, season seven. That I'm worried about is we're going to get arcs that are kind of bland and kind of boring. Hopefully and, not. Yeah, I mean... Like, I, I know we're... There's going to be fan favorite service stuff. We're going to see Ahsoka again. And yeah. you're going to see Anakin again. It's going to be cool. Because, you, you know, we've seen it recently. But a lot of longtime fans haven't seen it in, whatever, five years right. or something. But, you know, it'll be, like, be nice to see them again. <sighs> but, yeah. I, it might, one of my biggest complaints in this episode was the Jedi. So, Shock T calls them up. And, and they're like, oh, we're going to investigate this. <laughs> And they never investigate it. Yeah, like, you yeah. knew. Even, okay, and then you just take the, the Chancellor's, oh, it was a virus because they shared the same canteen. Bullshit. Like, you gotta <laughs> see through that. Come on, you guys. You, you deserve to all get freaking murdered. You deserve it because you're not paying attention. And you say you're going to investigate it and you want to, you know, put everybody on it. But, like, even the fact that they sent this, like, you know, the, the clone to Camino mm-hmm. and... Didn't send any other people with him except for one freaking clone. Like, come on, guys! You deserve what your fate. If this is what, yeah, if this is the decisions you're making, it. It's not like they were all busy. They were all sitting in the freaking thing. <laughs> like you're not doing anything else. I swear to God, Je- I, I, I get a lot of pushback on it, but the Jedi are uh, ignorant. In this case, like, honestly, I know you said that before, and in this case, I have to agree. They were making terrible decisions, and I feel like. They kind of deserved it, you know. And it, Obi Wan wasn't anywhere to be seen. Um, it's probably smart. He's probably off, like still reeling from his death of his girl, man. Yeah, no, and you haven't seen him since then. So, did he even think. show up in this series, the season six? Probably. I'm sure he does at some point. I forget. No. It's been a while. But yeah, I just I feel like you say you're going to investigate, and you don't investigate, and then some guy, the chancellor, comes out and says, "Oh yeah, no, it's a, you know they drink from the same canteen, and they're blah, blah, blah. whatever." Give me a break with that. Yeah. So yeah. I just I mean I like the idea of learning more about episode or uh, Order sixty six. Right. But it just was like, come on, <laughs> with this. The first time I watched it, I was still kind of a newbie to this whole thing. I hadn't seen you know I still hadn't seen Rebels. I was still kind of just trying to. I was still learning, but yeah, as I've seen it a second time, I didn't like it. So yeah, like I said, I, I'm I, I'm still gonna give it a B because I thought. No, and I don't want to take no, it away no, no, from no, you. No, 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 not at all. Enjoy the things you enjoy. That's just my complaints. Um, I, like I said, I enjoyed moments and parts more probably than you did. I like I like what they're doing with the Clone Wars and the Order sixty six, but I can understand where. It feel it feels like more like filler than yeah. just anything. So we had some ideas that we wanted to crank out, and Netflix gave us a bunch of money. Yeah, so yeah. we just did it. And this is this is a problem I'm starting to see with Star Wars in general. Is I don't know. I hope the Mandalorian has like a purpose and clear like like. Oh, I would hope so. Like, but I mean, I just I, I don't I, I don't feel like sometimes that Disney and Star Wars know what they want. With Clone Wars, though, you only had what was it three years right between. Yeah. Attack of the Clones and Revenge of the Sith. There's only so many stories you could tell. We got seven right. seasons now. Yeah. Like, the time. Like, where are they coming with the time here? Unless it's... All I know is they spent a lot of time getting captured. <laughs> and then getting out of capture. And Yeah. yeah I just feel like... I, mean, I, I, I don't know. I love the Clone Wars series. You do, too. I know you marked yeah, it as yeah. one of your top series. Yeah, it's one of my favorite series now. But, yeah. Just some of them, they're, they're, you're not needed. Oh, well. Yeah, I don't know. It's one of those things. Hopefully, the uh, next few episodes are better. But I feel like this validates me as a Star Wars fan. Like, I get, I'm complaining about stuff. Is that right? Because, yeah, when I watched this the first time, I was still kind of new. Yeah, and so yeah. now I watch it again, I feel like since I get to complain, since I'm complaining, I, I, I can fit in with some Star Wars fans that are always complain. <laughs> so this validates me. I might have to block you on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> you can't do this already YouTube channel just to bitch about Clone Wars. Oh, man, there's plenty of those already. So. <laughs> um, but, yeah, that's it on the four episodes. Um, Kenny, do you know what the next episodes are, by any chance? I do. Okay, so the next trilogy will be the Clovis trilogy. You know Clovis is, right? I can't remember the offhand. Padme's ex-boyfriend or whatever oh, trilogy. Are these ones you don't like? Uh, all right. I mean, could be better. It's fine. They're fine. <laughs> It's just jealousy, like, hey, here's Anakin jealous. jealous. You know, come on. She <laughs> should be, exciting. I'm assuming at this point, she's got to be pregnant, you know, considering how close we have to be. To, well, no, because there's another season coming, so. 
I don't know. You would figure at some point she's got to be getting close. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, so season five, season six, episode five, and old friend. Season six, episode six, the rise of Clovis, and season six, episode seven, crisis at the heart. All right. You know, it'd be funny if like one episode was Bow Chicka Wow Wow. Bow Chicka Wow Wow is uh, <laughs> like you are not the father. The story of Padme. Like, Get uh, Murray Povich in it. <laughs> Is he the Clovis's baby or Anakin's baby? <laughs> All right. So uh, I think that'll do it for episode whatever, 37, I think we're on. Um, Kenny, thank you so much for joining me. Brian, we don't like you, so go away. Brian, I hope you're listening. Um, Kenny, just give you the middle finger. Yeah, uh, we don't want you on the show anymore. No, we'll see okay. you soon. Yeah, we'll Hopefully. see you soon. He'll be back eventually. But uh, Kenny, uh, to end the show, where can they reach you, find you? Pat you on the back. Uh, touch wherever. me. You can reach out and touch me in my special holes uh, at American Ricky on Twitter. At American Ricky. Do we have anything in the old bag? We do not have anything in the mailbag. Please email us. We want to get your emails. We want to feel your love. Uh, email us at trenchrunpod at gmail.com. Trenchrunpod at gmail.com. There you go. And rate us on five stars on the on the old iTunes and yeah, yeah. Spotify and Stitcher and SoundCloud and we need your love, uh, people. Napster I want, and I want to sell you t-shirts that say uh, "Old Bag for Sale." <laughs> old Bag for Sale. Look us up on uh, Christian Mingle and yeah, <laughs> uh, FarmersOnly.com. <laughs> Farm, farmer Animals. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, you can reach me at uh, Big Shadow One One Three A. Find out Movie Emporium, all that good stuff. Um, but yeah, otherwise, uh, thank you so much for listening and we'll see you on the next episode. Peace out. Bye bye. Yeah. That was nice of him. Yeah. The guy caught him and then, you know, the guy got caught him. Like, and then he turned around and said, thank you. <laughs> oh yeah. Watch him. He's like, the dude catches 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 him.